Gemma Maria Umberta Pia Galgani. That was Gemma's full name. She was an Italian saint born in 1978. At this time, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus was five and Saint Bernadette was 34. She would die the next year. Now, Saint Gemma was from a small town near the city of Lucca. When she was a little girl, she lost her mother, who was a very pious woman who died of tuberculosis. One of her mother's last prayers was, Lord, I offer myself up to you, and I ask for the grace to one day embrace all of my children in heaven. And she taught Gemma a very important lesson as a young girl, which was to always think about heaven, to always desire heaven. And it was something she was always faithful to. How many times do people, do we desire to be, we aspire to be something in this world, to be successful, to have, I don't know, a great career. We do everything we can to develop our natural capacities, to have good relationships, to be well looked at, and we forget something very, very important. Our greatest responsibility is to become a saint. On our priority list, number one, I need to become a saint. Now, as a girl, Gemma was sent to the school of the Zeta sisters. There was a holy nun there who one day called the girls to play a game. She called it the game of providence. And this game consisted, it was a very simple game, in picking matchsticks, little sticks from a pile, and whoever got the biggest stick was the winner. They were all the same size, except for one that was a little bigger than the rest. But the holy nun set one special condition. Whoever won the game, whoever chose the biggest stick, had to make a promise. They had to promise to become a saint. Now, Gemma, in her innocence, took it very seriously. She didn't realize it was just a game, and she took it to heart. So each girl picked out their stick from the pile and held it in their hands. When Gemma realized she had won, her eyes lit up. She jumped out of her chair, I'm going to become a saint. And the nun called her aside and said, your name is Gemma, and you are called to be a gem of God. That is your vocation. And Gemma took her advice very seriously, and she made it her main goal in life to become a saint. Now, Gemma went through a lot of suffering. She was a victim soul, and our Lord called her to suffer for the conversion of souls. She was given the great gift of stigmata. Many times on Thursday, wounds would appear on her hands, similar to the wounds that our Lord had in His Passion. And she would bleed from them until Saturday, Saturday morning when the wounds would then close up, leaving just a little white mark in the center of her hands. St. Gemma also had great convivium, great conversations. Just like we are talking, we speak to one another. St. Gemma would speak almost every day to her guardian angel, who taught her the ways of sanctity. It would accompany her just like an older brother or sister would. Now, St. Gemma had a great desire. She wanted to be a passionist, but she wasn't accepted into the order because of her weak health. When she was around 20 years old, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis in the spine. And for a certain period, she even became paralyzed. Until one day, after fervent prayer, imploring our Lord for a miraculous cure, she was indeed cured miraculously. One day, a passionist, Saint Gabriel appeared to her and cured her. Now, going back to the beginning, when the name of Gemma was chosen, her mother thought it was very strange. She said, there are no saints with that name. And a priest told her to console her. She said, he said, well, maybe Gemma will become the first. Of course, her mother had great hope that 
this indeed would, would happen. And Gemma was faithful to her promise as a child to become a saint. Our Lord Jesus Christ even appeared to her and said, Gemma, you will become a saint. Now, I think it's one of the only saints in history that our Lord appeared to and said, you are going to be a saint of the altars. He said, you're going to become a saint, you're going to work many miracles, and many people will seek your intercession. And today she is inviting each one of us to make the same promise, the promise to become a saint. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.